Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to How to Kill a Kit with Style, October's Wrap Up. So you know I do six kits. This has been my kit one for a couple months now. Still haven't killed it. I actually have to add to it because I have this amount of photos left to do for the first half of our Chicago trip. <laughs> um, so I've actually ordered... Um, Paracel by uh, Jen Hatfield so that I can because they kind of the mood and feels kind of the same so we will add that to this when it comes in but this is everything we have left so obviously nothing with those Just gonna pull everything over we have tons of scraps <laughs> But I mean, there's a big dent in this. It's just not done yet. So. Here's everything that has been killed with this kit. So the only thing left on this sheet is a sticker that says Wednesday. I'm just going to pull that off, stick it right here, and stick it in my planner. Not that big of a deal. So we're going to go ahead and toss that. I was able to use my some assemblage required, and I don't know if this was in the beginning of the month or not, um, but I was able to use all of those little ash space pieces. One sheet from the sticker book used. Um, I have combined both of these into a baggie. So we're just going to go ahead and toss those. Here is. Well, let's pull some of this out of here. Here are all the large and small scraps. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and toss that and these little vellum pieces. Um, these I still might be able to use because obviously I still want to have little, you know, embellishments and such for my layouts. So those are going to stay in here along with all of these scraps. And we do have quite a bit of 12 by 12 paper left. Not as much as we started with. Just stick those in there. We do still have some of this a six by six paper pad left. And we will get that used up next month. Everything on my little sheet here will stay on the sheet. All of the ephemera bits. Not too many of the puffy stickers left. Um, our book here is getting pretty empty. Here is the um, 6x8 paper pad left over. A few of these Wander Puffy stickers. You see what I'm saying though? What I mean about needing to add more to it. I'm gonna do that. But we will start off working with these. Here's what's left of these sticker sheets. It's definitely getting things used. Not even sure I've got enough to make words, but we're keeping them. Need to do better on the enamel pieces. My two sequin packs, Golden Gates and Summer Sunsets. And all of the washi. So we're just going to leave that in there, and this will still be kit one for next month. Or I might change it up. You never really know. So kit two. Kit two is killed. Um, this was one of my old hip kits. So basically all I have left is a whole bunch of scraps. That's the largest scrap I have. I am going to go ahead and get rid of all of these. Recycle bin. Um, I have used all of the, the thicker pieces. Um, 
Oh, these were those little banner pieces. You guys remember the fabric banner pieces. Those were all used up as well. So we'll go ahead and save those. And let's just go through this pack real quick, you guys, because I'm not even sure. <laughs> this thing is not wanting to stick. Not even sure how much of this I'm going to be able to use because it is a very cowboy theme. So these will go in my to be given to someone else pile. 100% going to let these go. So that's one kit killed. Pretty excited about that. So like I said, these are going to go in the donate pile. So the only thing left is our thickers for kit two. Kit three. I even added to this and it's still pretty darn killed. All right. So I was able to use up all of the chipboard frames and all of these little wood veneer pieces. The majority of that six by eight pad was used. I am not going to keep any of this because we are going to, I don't know what we're going to do with the leftovers, but all of our scraps, not very many, but I'm so excited for how much I did make it through. As far as 12 by 12 papers, we have this beauty left, this beauty left. So only four left. And I did think this started out, kit three started out with a lot of them. I still have these little hexagon pieces left. Um, oh, These right here I'm actually going to toss because these are the outer edges anyway. So let's just go ahead and grab all of those and get rid of those next time. Sometimes I do use them though, um, but we're just going to remove them for now and we have those to use at a later date. So those are going to go in the trash. We have those left. Still have the two um, acetate pieces left. Still have our sequins. We still have plenty of letters left. Our little fabric butterflies. Um, out of the simple stories, let's go collection. We do not have very many of the chipboard left, so that's kind of nice. And only a few of these filled trips, so let's go through this as well. And not really my mood and feel, but if there's anything that I might be able to use, I'm going to throw them to the side. So, so far I've not seen anything that I can't try to use. So, yep, we're going to keep all of those. These can all be, like, tucked into, like, little bitty um, spaces and stuff and layouts to come. This one's going to be a little bit more difficult because it's friends in a cupcake, the tea squad. We're going to put that over there. It's kind of, let's see, the teacups, not going to keep. Weirdo thing, not going to keep, not going to keep. We will keep all of this, but that is all going to go in the donate pile. Watch, there'll be some kind of coffee or tea layout that I'll be like, Meow. This, I know that this was a rollover from last time. So we're going to go ahead and stick this in here. Donate pile. All right. Now this bad boy will make 
another appearance as well. Maybe not in November though, because I don't want to keep using the same things over and over again. Switch it up. The last time, I think I used this for a live and I didn't really put anything back, did I? Apparently not. Not at all. But that's okay. I'm serious. I like put nothing back. Shame on me. Okay. Ooh, my tummy is growing. It's still a big, pretty big chunk. So we do have all of the washi left. And this was kit four. And we still have a ton of the paper left. I did combine these all into one, so we're going to go ahead and toss this. I was able to use up one full pack of Spiegel Mom Scrap Sequins, the Lavender Fields. So we'll keep that. Here's the papers. Six by eight papers, stencils, um, plenty of letters left over. This is all I have left over from, I believe, September's, maybe even July, August. So we're going to go ahead and add this. Mm, yeah, we're going to add that to the donate pile. Might still be able to use some of those words. Home Sweet Home is going to our donate pile as well. Still have plenty of those. Sticker sheet did get hit pretty hard. So I'm really excited about that. The thickers did get hit somewhat, not hard. Still have some layered hearts left over. One sequin mix. This guy, I don't even know if I... Oh yeah, I did. I pulled this one right here. That's it. So, still have some work to do on that. Here's all of the ephemera. Um, I used half of the paper clips. Didn't use too many of these, but eh. another sequin mix. And then I did tap into the stickers quite a lot this month, so I think more so than anything else, I hit the stickers. Um, also, for this, I am going to go ahead and add these. Oh, why am I adding? You guys shall see that next tomorrow. <laughs> okay, this monstrosity. This is kit five after this. We'll have to take a break. Because, 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 right? So, put that up there. This was my Stash Smash Saturday. It will return as my Stash Smash Saturday because that's what we do. It stays, so it will it will continue on into November. But I did add quite a bit after the original filming of this, which is okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But I did use a lot, you guys. I just added so much more because this is what I am using. Um, for my father-in-law's trip with the grandkids. So I've got twine still left over. Washi still left over. Let's pull in what we've used. So I did finish one whole sheet of the compliments. I did kill a 6x6 paper pad. And those faux bunny little fishy things. So those are... Moving on. We're going to save that. So, all right. So, like these little scraps, I am going to go ahead and toss. Maybe. I don't know. Kinda, I think 
thinking about cohesiveness and maybe I might, I'm going to keep it because I do still have, well, I don't actually have that many photos left. So let's see how many 12 by 12s we have before I commit to throwing away pattern paper, right? So these are all scraps up there. So we have one 12 by 12. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these. No, I'm going to save those. So here's one 12 by 12. More scraps. Another 12 by 12. So this is like the Simple Story Safe travel kit that I put in there. And some of the others. So this will, like I said, continue on sticker sheets. This will continue on to be my kit for next month. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and save all of these. Just tuck them right there. Um, just take this and I'm going to get rid of the trash in here, right? So we're going to get rid of that because we don't want to carry that over to next month. Wow, people, I almost threw something away. I almost threw that away. So we're going to go ahead and carry these over. So we'll throw those up there. Um, I was pretty proud of myself. I only have a few things left on that sticker sheet. Um, did kind of make a bit of a dent in the thickers. This British Monroe one, small dent. So... didn't even get to the second one but what I'm gonna do because you can't do it like all the way like halfway through right you gotta wait till the end you either do it at the beginning or you have to wait till the end so we're gonna combine these so that I more easily grab them we still have all of these my life cards the frames I'm going to keep trying to use all of this, but I don't even know how much I even touched it this past month. Ephemera. I was able to use some of these because that metal was a part of my thing. I didn't even touch the enamel dots. The sticker book. We have to do better. Um, I've got these little tags. All the ephemera, this little loved title. The only thing left on here is gratitude. We'll try to get that used up. And all of these just pieces that are sitting out and these gems. So I'm going to go ahead and leave those in there, but these are all going to go back over here. All right, I will be back with the next one. And our final kit is that Simple Stories. So we're going to go ahead and take these, put them up. Pull out all this stuff. Now this, we did make quite the dent in. So I still got these thickers left. We'll keep those. Um, I used one whole 6x8 uh, paper pad. Most of the floral bits I was able to combine a lot of these. One whole sticker sheet. Here's the basics. And this is the, you know, the collection. Um, we have... Four. We've got six sheets of papers left, and a plethora of scraps. So the bigger ones I'm going to keep. These little guys are going to get tossed. I was able to really work through the chipboard, the foam thickers, um, that second 12 by 12 sheet. 
of stickers. Here's all the die cuts left over. And we have, so the Hilton Head obviously isn't going to get used because we didn't go to Hilton Head, but we did go to Myrtle Beach. So that is going to come into play. What's left of the other paper pad? If you remember, I ended up with two of them. This needs to be put in here. Just a few bits left on a sheet of wax paper. And the sticker book, which I got better at using this collection, right? So there are tons of stuff missing, but not one full page done yet. So that's it. I'm going to go ahead and get all my layouts together, and we'll be right back to show all the layouts I created this month. Okay, let's go through our layouts. So we've got this one that I totally forgot about. So that's kind of fun. This one was done for... Um, Crafty Clocks Design Team, Brutus Monroe Design Team, uh, this used kit one, I don't remember what kit, so we've got a lot of fun stuff coming in here, Brutus Monroe Design Team, and I need to trim off the edges of this one. I didn't do it. Sometimes I forget to do that, you guys. So that was, this is a nice one. That's the work. I no longer work with them people because I was promoted out of that department. We got this fun one. A lot of fun embellishment or layouts this month. Brutus Monroe. Washi strips. This one was the uh, cut apart. Need to do some more of those. This one is like my favorite sketch ever. All of these fun layouts. I like going back and looking at them, you guys, because I totally forget about them. This is a Brutus Moreau design team. Some of these may, all of these have process videos, but some of them are on the members portion of my channel. Got to do some stamping, some fun mixed media work this month. Mixed lots of pattern papers on pattern papers on pattern papers. Maggie's going to chew on the chair. This was the mixed media mayhem. I liked this one. Everybody commented on how I used uh, paint to do my stripes for that one. This is our Christmas hop. More fun paper on paper on paper. Some paper tearing, Brutus Monroe design team, um, I believe, I don't know what this one was for, everyday inspiration, the Halloween layout, it's not really Halloween, got to use a whole bunch of fun stuff this month. And as you remember, most of these were late <laughs> at the end of the month. I'll do better. This was a Brutus Monroe Live. Pink Fresh Hop. Sarah Scraps sketch. I remember that. Brutus Monroe Design Team. Using up lots of strips. And the last one, getting able to use some dinosaur stuff up. So that's going to do it. You guys don't forget to go check everyone else out. What happened here? Go check everyone else out. See what they created and uh, come back tomorrow and see what we have for our kit reveal for November. I've already put my kits together so we're going to have fun creating with those for the rest of the day. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you later with another video. Bye.